Having just one way to express yourself can be frustrating. That's why Singular Wireless offers you two more ways. Sign up now and get a deal on a cool Nokia. Singular Wireless. What do you have to say? Expect the news first. This is Oklahoma's News Channel 4 at noon. Good afternoon. Hope you're enjoying your Labor Day this Monday. Meg Alexander is off today. Our top story at noon, an update to breaking news we brought you earlier today. It involves a bizarre early morning shooting. Police say an Oklahoma man shot a would-be thief. Now, this story has an unusual twist involving a professional locksmith. New at noon, here for the first time, how the events played out. New Channel 4's Sarah Stewart now joins us live. And Sarah, help us piece together what happened there. Well, Kent, the locksmith received a call to this location. When he arrived, the suspect was sitting right here on the curb in house shoes. He told the locksmith he'd been locked out of his house. Take a look. So far, it appears that we have a rather inventive burglar. Uh, a subject called a locksmith that told him he had been locked out of his house and uh, locksmith come out to help him get in the house. But the suspect didn't even make it through the front door. The homeowner was inside waiting for the intruder. I heard a noise at his door and uh, he doesn't have a, a phone in the house. Uh, so he, he picked up his gun and uh, guy came through the door that he didn't know. As far as we know right now, he fired one shot, striking the guy in the chest. The suspect fled the scene and ran to this nearby gas station where a friend picked him up. But the police caught up to them, arresting the accomplice and sending the suspect to the hospital. Police say the locksmith who helped the suspect was in shock. Thought he was helping someone get into their house that had been locked out. The, the story he was told uh, was that the guy had walked outside and uh, his door shut behind him and accidentally locked him out. This guy was wearing. Now we do have the suspect's name. He is 27 year old William Jackson. We understand he underwent surgery this morning for his gunshot wound and is currently in critical condition. Police have spent much of the morning questioning people and conducting their investigation here. We can tell you they did return the homeowner here just a few minutes ago, but they are continuing this investigation. Kent. Sarah, that's one of the stranger ones we've heard in a while. Sure is. Thank you. Sarah Stewart reporting live from Southeast Oklahoma City. We'll have much more on this story later today here on News Channel 4. Also on Crime Watch, an Oklahoma man faces serious charges this afternoon. Police say he led them on a high-speed chase through city streets. See, authorities finally did catch up with him, though, told he was speeding on his motorcycle. Authorities tried to pull him over, but the suspect kept going. A police unit hit a van in a homeland parking lot on Northwest 23rd while they were chasing that suspect. The pursuit ended minutes later at Northwest 33rd and Blackwelder. Again, the suspect was taken into custody. The good news is no one was hurt. Will there be a state trial against Terry Nichols? This afternoon, we know new Oklahoma County District Attorney Wes Lane will announce his decision this Wednesday at the Oklahoma City National Memorial. In July, Lane spent an entire day talking with bombing survivors and victims' families. You'll remember he wanted to hear what they had to say about a possible trial before making his final decision. Around the same time we conducted a News Channel 4 viewers voice poll, it revealed 47% of the people questioned want DA Wes Lane to proceed with the case. 46% say that he should not. New information about an explosion that severely burned a Yukon man. This afternoon, we now know that man's name. 55-year-old Ricky Black is suffering from second and third degree burns. Firefighters tell us he was adding gasoline to his lawnmower Sunday night while the fuel ignited, caused an explosion, injuring him and set his home on fire. Fire caused about $10,000 worth of damage. As for Black, he has been released from the hospital. An Oklahoma baby continues to cling to life. The nine-month-old girl nearly drowned in an ice chest. Accident happened Sunday. Midwest City Police say the baby uh, made her way into the kitchen while the mother was sleeping. That's where the baby found a large cooler packed with ice and water. Her mother later awoke to find her barely breathing. Looking at him the way he came out of the house was, you know, it didn't look good. So. The little girl remains in critical condition. Please say they consider this an accident. So far, no charges have been filed. While many of you may be planning a final trip to the lake today, you better make sure that you pack that life jacket. Oklahoma officers are really cracking down on parents who aren't playing it safe around the water. They're writing tickets for your child's safety. And the problem is not all parents are properly protecting their children. They are required to wear a life jacket. 12 and under has to have life jackets. I didn't know it until I got out here. so. $105 learning lesson. 
It takes a child 30 seconds after he goes under the surface of the water to drown. When you have less than six inches to 12 inches visibility under that water, it's almost impossible to find them. Officers also want to make sure there aren't any glass containers on or around the lake. You will be ticketed if you have glass. Officers say the sharp objects are to blame for several injuries. And authorities also want you to be safe on the roadways as well. City police, state troopers, county deputies, they're all taking part in Operation Blue Talon Crash Crackdown. They're looking for seatbelt violators, aggressive and drunk drivers. Officers aren't giving any breaks, ticketing those who break the law. Crackdown started Friday night and runs through midnight tonight. This is the third year for the road safety project on Labor Day weekend. It has helped reduce deadly crashes by 35%. Now, first weather from the forewarned storm team. You know, the first part of our holiday weekend was beautiful. We had lots of sunshine and blue skies. Now we're starting to see a few more of those clouds rolling into the picture. Here's the view of the forewarned sky cam network. Temperatures not looking bad, though. We are warming up 82 right now here in Oklahoma City, 88 down in Ardmore, 80 in Alva and 73 degrees there in Woodward. A look at what happened today in Oklahoma City. We had a low of 70 degrees and only a trace of rain so far. The high today should be around 88. That's the normal. We'll get above that today, but at least we're not going to be as warm as we were a year ago today. Can you believe 108 back on this date? Well, we'll welcome some cooler conditions, and that's what to expect today. We'll talk more about those chances for rain coming up in the forecast in just a bit. But this afternoon, weather experts are working on a new piece of equipment that could someday help us warn you twice as fast. Dan Threlkeld has more on this life-saving technology in this forewarned storm team special report. Nature's fury is thrown at Oklahoma every spring. It happens here more often than any other place in the world. Oklahomans also receive more severe weather information than you'll find anywhere. We have several areas here which are really causing problems. Okay. The forewarned storm center gets very busy when lives are in danger. Chopper 4 is sent to the storms. The turnpike is right at the bottom of your screen. It's a half mile wide and it's an F4 tornado. Ground crews show the danger and the edge and other tools keep viewers informed. Because of our threat, Norman has become the center for weather research. And it all started right here with the very first Doppler radar. This is it. You're looking at the granddaddy of all NEXRAD radars. By the way, now there are 168 deployed all across the world. But it's time to begin again here in Norman. This will all be taken down, and a $25 million radar will take its place, the new phased array radar. It's very exciting. I happened to start at the Severe Storms Lab in 1970 and get involved with this program. So I've had a 30-year career, and, and to me, this is like a restart. So I'm like a, a young employee just starting out. I am looking forward to this new radar that much. Burgess and other researchers say phased array technology is currently being used on Navy ships. But unlike today's radar that only send out one beam. Phased array radar can send out as many as 10 or more beams of energy at the same time, maneuver them around the sky as necessary, and get all of those returns back simultaneously. The current national average between the time a warning is issued and the time a tornado strikes is 10 to 12 minutes. Burgess says once this technology is developed, that lead time could be doubled. This is exciting stuff. Now, Norman will be the national weather radar test bed. Many partners are in this venture, but don't look for it to replace Dopplers for several years. When it does, though, earlier warnings are expected. Back to you, Ken. Thanks a lot, Troy. Neat stuff. Parents usually give their kids lots of advice when sending their teens off to college, but there's one thing co-eds may need that you've never thought of. Find out what that is next. And fire eats away at thousands of acres of land in a national park. Coming up, we'll take you to the front lines. Plus, kids glued to the set playing video games. Researchers say it's becoming a growing problem. Details next at noon on Oklahoma's News Channel 4. 
every day at 4.30, you're going to find something different. Linda Cavanaugh and Oklahoma's News Channel 4 at 4.30. Sure, you'll get all the news of the day, but there's so much more. Live studio audiences talk about the things that affect your life. Tips to help with tough parenting issues. Consumer information that can save you money. And answers to your health and medical questions. It's different day to day. Oklahoma's News Channel 4 at 4.30 with Linda Cavanaugh. Expect something different. Expect the news first. Johnny Ross here at 15th and Sunny Lane at the Furniture Discounters in Dell City with the owner, Jim Flutie. And what we want to do is just give you some knockout prices on some great furniture. What do you got for us, Jim? I got a large sectional covered in a Herculon velvet, double recliners, and a hide bed How much is it? $1,199. Whole thing. dollars How much is it? $1,199. Whole thing. can't beat that. What is this, an $1,800 deal? Absolutely. Shop around. Write those prices down. 15th and Sunny Lane, the Furniture Discounters. And remember, what's our motto? If you don't come see us, we can't save you any money. Hey. With over 300 different kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables and dozens of delicious ways to choose them, you can find everything you always wanted and things you never even knew you wanted. Don't you wish all life was that simple? Looking for something fresh? Albertsons. It's your store. Dang. How'd you know? Remember, kid, you've got a big responsibility to deliver the best ice cream in the country. So don't let anything get in your way. But be nice, courteous, go oh, and eat all you want. Don't take shortcuts and don't be late. Where have you been? Well, first day, sir. Um, what happened to the rest of my order? I ate it. Blue Bell, we eat all we can and sell the rest. Uh, by now, they have their books and their new friends are settled in the dorms. But if you just sent your kid off to college, there's one thing you may have forgotten about. What is it? College insurance. Victoria Lim explains. For most college students, dorm life is their first chance to live on their own. Unfortunately, it can also be the first time they experience the reality of crime and property loss. My oldest child was a victim of theft at college and that put quite a strain on the family, both emotionally and financially. And now that my youngest daughter is going away to school, I really want her to feel protected. Theft-related crime on campus isn't unusual. The U.S. Department of Education says in 1999, more than 20,000 incidents were reported by 6,000 four-year colleges. But theft isn't the only problem. Flood, fires, and storms can also lead to property loss. We find that parents typically underestimate the value of the possessions they send away to college with their children, and their homeowner's policies typically have a low limit. However, that limit can be modified. So it doesn't hurt to talk to your insurance agent before your kids leave for school. You may find you need more coverage than your homeowner's policy has. I'd recommend that parents inventory the property that they send away to school with their children and even write down the serial number of the more valuable items. In addition, they can perhaps inscribe their family name on items so that it can be easily recovered. And finally, always remind children to lock the door and lock the window and take safety precautions to protect the property when it's left unattended. This may help you sleep easier while your child is away and help students keep their mind on their studies. Some items are not covered by homeowners policies like vehicles, for example. Specific student plans could cost anywhere from 50 to a couple hundred dollars a year, depending on your deductible and your coverage. The most accurate forecast with the Forewarned Storm Team, Troy Bridges. Well, you know, fall is a few weeks away and it has begun to feel a little bit closer to that time of year. At least temperatures are back to normal. We're glad to see that. And that's the story, except for today, things will gradually be warming. Let me take you outside and show you the view of the Forewarned SkyCam network. We can see a few clouds here and there. Those clouds aren't really producing any rain for now, but into the afternoon, we could start to see a few more showers. You know, the Arts Festival Oklahoma is going on. Lots of great music. That's at the Oklahoma City Community College. Get out there today and enjoy it. They've had some great music since Friday. Good stuff to enjoy today on your last day of the Labor Day holiday. 82 degrees right now with mostly cloudy skies here in the metro. Winds variable at about 5 miles per hour. Humidity at 69% and pressure is steady for now. Again, let me show you what happened today in Oklahoma City. We had a trace of rain officially in the low this morning with 70 degrees, a little bit above the normal. But the big story is that temperature, the afternoon high, should be around 88. We're going to be above that 
today by only a couple of degrees. But the good news is, can you remember back what it felt like just a year ago on this date? 108 degrees. The good news is it's not going to feel like that today. Right now, though, let me show you what the temperatures are like right there outside in the neighborhood metro. 85 degrees in Kingfisher, 83 in El Reno. More right now at 82 degrees, a bit warmer in Shawnee at 84 and Perkins at 85 degrees. We're going to widen up the view of the forewarn edge for you and show you the rain that we saw over the past 12 hours. A few showers moving into western parts of the state. Not a lot came down, but we are still seeing some showers down to our south and southwestern Oklahoma. The big story is the drying that is beginning to happen down in parts of Texas. Over the past week, they've had more than 11 inches of rain. Now, weather flight shows that rain as it pushes off into southern parts of the U.S., southeastern U.S., parts of Mississippi and Alabama, getting pounded with lots and lots of rain rolling through their region. But for us, again, only some showers right there in southwestern parts of our state. Central Oklahoma will see a chance for rain into the afternoon today. We're watching Tropical Storm Aaron really far away right now off in the uh, Atlantic. It shouldn't be a factor for us anytime soon, but just to let you know, it could become a hurry hurricane in the next 24 hours and then we'll watch it as it comes closer. It could reach the U.S. mainland a few days from now and we'll certainly keep you forewarned on that and let you know what we could expect from it. Still very early to tell, but the forewarned future track clouds and rain as we take you into the next 24 hours will show a chance for showers across the state, mainly for central Oklahoma and western parts of the state. So if you're traveling today and you want to see a lot of sunshine, eastern Oklahoma would probably be your best bet today. The forewarned future track temperatures and wind into the afternoon today will have a wind from the south bringing in some moisture today and also some temperatures not quite that warm in some parts of the area will be in the 80s and parts of the state, but for the most part, it'll be the upper 80s and southern parts. And then right here in central Oklahoma, we can expect the 90s right now across the state. 82 here in Oklahoma City, 88 in Ardmore, 80 up in Alba. A 20% chance of showers out in western parts of the state and central Oklahoma today. 90 for the afternoon high in Enid, 90 in Woodward, 92 down in Ardmore. A mix of sun and clouds out to the east, more cloud cover in western Oklahoma with a southerly wind, then a 20% chance of showers here in Oklahoma City into your overnight hours. The same story out west and the same story in the Panhandle region. 69 for the overnight low in Clinton, 68 in Ardmore, and a southerly wind from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at your 24-hour metro forecast. We'll see a 20% chance for rain today, tonight, and tomorrow. A high today in the metro of 99, 88 tomorrow, and look at your 7-day forecast. We continue to see a 20% chance for rain into Tuesday, but by Wednesday and Thursday, no real chances for rain. But watch the temperature will gradually warm a few degrees to 94. Then by the weekend, cooling back closer to where we should be this time of year and right there at a 30% chance for rain. We'll take some rain. We're still dry out there, oh, yeah. but let's hope people enjoy those outings today. I know a lot of stuff is planned. A lot of people at the lake today. Yeah. You bet. Thanks a lot, Troy. Mm -hmm. Coming up at five, Galen Culver gives you a sneak peek at a surprising rodeo star. Kids don't win any money at used rodeos like this one in Ardmore over the weekend, but if they did, Tara Timms would be rich. I'm Galen Culver coming up at 5 o'clock and all around champ in a different package, beating the boys on the next great state. That's tonight at 5. Well, it's the nation's worst forest fire and it's wiping out parts of a national treasure. I'll tell you what, a thousand firefighters are fearing now when we go to Montana. And a scary weekend for some people in Russia as a violent earthquake rocks the eastern region. That's still to come on Oklahoma's News Channel 4 noon. It's the big back to school sale at Hope's Warehouse. You'll find everything you need for back to school, including jeans, sweaters, leather coats, even pots and pans, all at ridiculous savings. Returning scholars need linens, they're half off at Hope's. Down feather comforters are only $50. Plus, Hope's will be open Labor Day from 10 to 6 for those last minute back to school bargains. The season for savings is right now, and the selection is super. So hurry in for all your back to school shopping at Hope's Warehouse. Education that works for you. I worked in a factory for 10 years, but I've always been interested in computers. So I enrolled in the information technology program at City College. And in seven and a half months, I turned my hobby into a great career. Learn it fast at City College. Education that works for you. America, we want to know, how do you like your Dorothy? Entree in, salads. 
pasta and wings with veggies and stir fry so many great things. You can grill it and chill it, mix it and baste. Dip it or toss it, it's all in great taste. For all your favorite foods, there's nothing like sweet and spicy. Taste like you made it yourself, Dorothy Lynch. In home style or 100% fat free. Sir, yep. have you tried all the great dishes at Del Rancho? Nope. You must have tried the Steak Sandwich Supreme. Nope. Well, why not? I live in New Jersey. Oh, Del Rancho, when you're in town, tempting tastes, terrific prices. I'll try it. Attention employers, put the power of television to work for you with Oklahoma's News Channel 4's JobNet 4. Call 478-6250 for more information or go to KFOR.com and click on JobNet 4. For all your disability equipment needs, shop our complete line of Pride products. And we service what we sell at Mobility Plus, Portland and Northwest 23rd. Three people remain hospitalized this morning, this afternoon, after a small plane crash in Nevada. Action happened Saturday when the pilot, this plane, lost power on approach to the Carson City Airport. Pilot tried to make it to the airport, but instead hit power lines and treetops and eventually landed upside down in the backyard of someone's home. And that home owner was in his yard at the time. He was injured in the crash. Plane's two occupants were also hurt in the accident. All were taken to area hospitals where they remain this afternoon. Firefighters in Montana are working hard this Labor Day to prevent a raging wildfire from spreading. Their biggest obstacle today may be the weather. Some 20 structures now lay in the fire's path. 7,000 acres have now been blackened in the pristine Glacier National Park. And now firefighters fear the wind may pick up again. Unfortunately, we may have another wind event uh, with uh, winds predicted somewhere around 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the west or the southwest. That tends to push the fire away from any buildings that we've got in the vicinity, any houses and that type of thing, which is good news. But that wind also tends to make the fire move faster. Now more than 1,000 firefighters working that blaze. Swimmers near Virginia Beach are being urged to keep their eyes peeled this holiday. That warning follows another shark attack, and this one killed a 10-year-old boy. Witnesses say David Peltera was in the water with his father and two brothers Saturday when the father spotted the shark. As they hurried to get out of the water, the shark brushed against the father's leg, then lunged at David. Emergency workers did all they could to save that boy, but he died a few hours later at a hospital. He had a severed artery in his leg. It's the first shark attack in Virginia in 30 years. Now here's a quick look at some of the other headlines around the world. A series of explosions in Jerusalem is keeping tensions high in the Middle East. Four bombs exploded in Jerusalem early today, wounding several people. Car bombs capped off a weekend of deadly violence between the Israelis and Palestinians. Riots broke out overnight in Northern Ireland as police had to battle Molotov cocktail-throwing protesters. Clashes erupted between loyalists and nationalists after a number of homes were attacked in a sectarian district of Belfast that has been the scene of past violence. The Australian military is expected to start transferring over 400 asylum seekers from a cargo vessel off a remote Indian Ocean island after weeks of haggling over the final fate of the refugees. The resettlement plan got the go-ahead after an Australian federal court lifted an injunction. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has taken out time from the United Nations Conference on Racism to speak about another issue, AIDS. Jackson urged members of South African Church to get tested and to work to help stop the spread of the virus. Britain's Queen Mother is back in the public eye one day after undergoing tests at a Scottish hospital. Speculation over the Queen Mum's health had run rampant after the 101-year-old missed her last two scheduled public appearances. 101. A strong earthquake has rocked an island in Russia's Far East, forcing people to flee their homes in panic, although there were no immediate reports of casualties or damage. Its magnitude was about five in the city and about seven at the epicenter, 20 miles north. Panic residents began leaving their homes in the middle of the night as the electricity supply flickered and the building shook. Interfax News Agency is reporting that. Communication with the remote settlements was disrupted, and the situation there remains unknown at this time. We'll continue to follow it, though. Still to come, does playing video games make some kids more violent? Doctors are lining up on both sides of the argument following a new study out of Japan. I'll tell you what that study has to say. And one of the teen idols of yesteryear is being remembered today. We'll take a look back at Troy Donahue's life when we return on Oklahoma's News Channel 4.
Oklahoma's News Channel 4 is everywhere news happens. Only News Channel 4 has mobile newsrooms covering the news in your neighborhood. We're there to expose scams where you live. We'll help protect you and your family from crime. He heard at least five gunshots fired. We go inside your child's school so you know what's going on. When news happens near you, look for Oklahoma's News Channel 4 mobile newsrooms. Expect us to be there. Expect the news first. What's one of the reasons our relationship lasts? Discover a new world of intimacy with KY Liquid Lubricant. Smoother thanks to its hydro liquid formula. He says I have a very agile mind. KY Liquid, the number one doctor recommended brand. Ah, uh, time to relax. What a time for bad heartburn. Try Extra Strength Mylanta. It works on tough nighttime heartburn fast. So go ahead, relax, if you can. Extra Strength Mylanta. It's new. It's totally different. It's the largest natural and organic food supermarket in Oklahoma. Join Pratt's Well Market for a grand opening. Lots of buy one, get one free items, free samples, special purchases with reduced prices. Shop the state's largest wall-to-wall -wall selection of natural and organic foods. Visit our natural deli. See our wellness physician, MD, massage therapist, dietitian, or pharmacist. Hurry. Get grand opening specials, free samples, lots of buy one, get one free items, special purchases with reduced prices. It's the grand opening. The new Pratt's Well Market, 1409 East Danforth, Edmond. For summertime savings and selection. Go to Statuary World. Patio and Fireside. Get deep discounts on Winston. Take an additional 20% off the already low sale prices. The popular Lloyd Flanders price to move out. Lloyd Wicker Lounge, your regular $220, now $159. Save 20% on all hand-carved import marble statues, fountains, and figurines. And 20% on all imported and domestic clay pottery. See the famous Rainbow Play Systems. For summertime savings. And selection. Go to Statuary World. Patio and Fireside. North I-35 between Britain and Wilshire. South I-35 and more south of the 89th Street exit. This is an important word of warning from Economy Hearing Aid Centers. All of us like to travel, but did you know that if you purchase the hearing aid made in a local dealer's back room, once you leave the state, you have no manufacturer's warranty? And what if something went wrong with your hearing aid during your vacation? When you purchase a Siemens hearing aid from Economy Hearing Aid Centers, you get a fantastic warranty that's good worldwide. That gives you real peace of mind. Economy Hearing Aid Centers. We sell the best, and we sell them for less. This afternoon, researchers say they have proof that when kids play too many video games, their brains don't develop like they should. They believe the stunted development may explain violent outbreaks in some children. Adam Balkan reports. Kids who play video games too often are more likely to be violent. That's the finding of a new study out of Japan's Tahaku University. The study found while children play the games, they're not exercising and developing their frontal lobes the part of the brain that controls behavior, learning, and emotions. So Tahaku researchers feel too much gaming leads to a less developed frontal lobe, which leads to kids who are less able to control their anger. Some parents are concerned about the findings. Others flat out disagree with them. My kids have been playing games since they were small, and they are not violent. They are calm, relaxed, well-mannered children. I do agree, and I do worry because there are of the majority of the kids that are out there tend to play a lot of video games and I think it, 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 it's, affecting, it's affecting our future generation. But some doctors think the researchers are jumping to conclusions. I think one can't examine a very tiny section of a child's life and say whether this could affect long-term frontal lobe development. And it's just taking a tiny piece of data and extrapolating very aggressively. So his advice, let kids be kids, but if you feel your children really are spending too much time in the virtual world, send them out into the real one. Experts say not only are some video games violent, they prevent children from interacting with each other, and that makes sense. We need to check in with Troy Bridges right now. How are you doing today, Troy? Pretty well, Kent. Good afternoon to you. We are seeing a good bit of cloud cover out there in central Oklahoma. A few breaks in the clouds with some sunshine, so grab the sunscreen, especially if you're traveling off to the east, eastern parts of the state. We'll see more sunshine today. Into the afternoon, a chance for some rain. Here's what to expect today. We'll see a chance for showers at about 20% here in central Oklahoma and out in western parts of the state. So if you're traveling to visit family or friends out in Clinton or in Woodward or in the Panhandle and 
Diamond or down in Lawton, there is that chance for rain. Not a big chance, but you know, some folks out there in the west do need some rain. It is still dry out there, so that could be good news for us. A high of 90 degrees here in Oklahoma City, a southerly wind from 5 to 10 miles per hour, and a mix of sun and clouds today, especially out to the east. So that's an area that will see plenty of sunshine. Here's a look at your 24 hour metro forecast. A 20% chance of rain into tonight and tomorrow for the metro. A high tomorrow just a couple of degrees cooler than what we're having today. A high of 88 degrees right on target for where we should be this time of year. But there is a warm up on the way. You'll find out more about that warm up coming up in the seven day forecast. And that's in just a few minutes. Kent, back to you. Troy, thank you. The kiddos are out of school today, so Mr. Food says take a little time to think about tomorrow. There will be less laboring over the kids' lunches because our school cafeterias are serving kids.